Hello, boys and girls. So now you've watched the Barbara Reed and you've seen her sunset sky. And in your package, you have some different colors. I did not paint around this. I just put marker so it doesn't look as nice as yours. That's just the frame of your picture. What I'd like you to do is take whatever colors you would like to be your sunset sky. So I'm going to start with some orange and you are going to, like she did, press it with your thumb. So on the bottom part of your thumb, you just press that on. And when you get to the, I'm pressing with my finger now. When you get to the edge, you just stop because that's the edge of our picture. That's like the frame. And you're going to put whatever colors you think are good sky colors in the sky. I'm going to put some pink above and below my orange. And that's just the way I want to do it. You, you can make your sky look whatever way you want your sky to look. So I'm going to press that on. I can press it with a finger. I can push it. It's actually easier to push it with my thumb. And when I get to where they blend, I do want to blend them together a bit. So it looks like those clouds. I'm just rubbing on it. And that makes like a, a line of pink and orange together. You can see I have an open spot there. I don't want any open spots. So I'm going to cover that with orange now while I notice it. I'm going to put some pink in kind of a thin line underneath. So I'm going to roll this into a thin kind of line like that. I'm going to put it on as that thin line. And now I'm going to smush it. There's probably a better word than smush, but that's what it is. I'm going to press it down and I'm going to blend that into the orange again. And wherever I see white, I'm going to press it until I don't see that plate anymore. And now I'm going to take some red. And I'm going to put that red on again, pushing it with my thumb or pushing it with my finger. making it blend together with the other colors. And I think now I'm gonna put a layer of yellow. I know she just put that yellow round sun, but I'm gonna put like a layer of yellow. Ooh, look, I got some red in the yellow. That looks nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend that. Ooh, look, nice. Hey, maybe I'll put some pink in there. So now I'm just gonna put a chunk of pink in and I'm gonna blend that too. Oh, look what I get. Look how that blends together. So you can experiment. Wow, that was just a lucky mistake. And um, so my hands are a little bit pink and a little bit red and it made the yellow kind of pink and red. And that actually looks very sunsetish, doesn't it? Now hers was in the water. Ours is not going to be in the water. Ours is going to be land at the bottom. So I'm gonna start with my brown at the bottom because I would like that to be like the dirt under the grass. So I'm starting with a brown layer. And again, I could mix that with a bit of another color if I wanted to. There's my brown layer. And then I've got a, a two colors of green. One is a brighter green. So I'm going to use the more earthy green first, the one that looks a little bit brownish. I'm going to use a line of that next to the earth. So I've got a layer of soil and a layer of green that's not too, too green. And then I'm going to take a layer of my bright green. And that's going to join up the grass with the skyline. So my bright green grass is my grass. And the other is my skyline. And now I'm going to just smooth it out wherever I'd like to smooth it. I do want to make a little sun that I'm going to make as a rolled circle. And then I'm going to flatten that circle so it's more like a button. And I'm going to put the button of the sun right on my horizon so it looks like it's coming 
going down where the grass is. And then I'd like you to put one thing on the land. So in her storybook, she had volcanoes. You could put a volcano on the land. She had one with dinosaurs. I thought that I would just make a single tree. So I'm going to make the tree look like it's in the distance. So it's going to be very tiny. There's my tree trunk. It's not gonna take up the whole picture because it's just tiny. I'm going to make just two little branches. And the rest is going to be my green tree, which I am also going to make by just pressing. Did you see her technique of like pulling and tearing? So I'm, I'm just gonna pull at the edges and see what happens. See what kind of a shape I get when I pull my tree. It's not as round as I want it to be. So now I'm gonna make it a little rounder and pull a little more. Okay, there you go. So now I've pulled and I've got torn edges and I'm just gonna lay that on top of my trunk. And that's the end of my picture. So decide on one thing that you're going to put in the picture after you've finished your sky and your land. Decide on one other thing that you'll put in your picture and then that is your finished beautiful art. Now, I don't know about you, but I have some big chunks left. I have some white that I'm gonna roll because I just wanna put a couple of, like a little bit of white cloud. I'm gonna make it with little circles so that it kind of looks like that. And then I'm gonna blend it a bit into the pink the way that white clouds might be blending in to the sunset sky and you could also do that with your blue if you want or you could use your extra because i do have quite a bit of extra you could use your extra to make another picture if you have a paper plate at home or something else to make a picture on so enjoy your barbara reed art and please take a picture so that I can see how it looks, attach it to this lesson.